Our bodies need a lot of energy to function. This energy comes from the food we eat. Before that food can be used by our cells to make energy, it must go through a long process to be digested or broken down. Most of the organs in our body are involved in breaking down the food we eat. These organs make up our digestive system. The digestive system starts with the mouth. When you eat food, your teeth begin breaking it into smaller pieces by chewing. Your saliva also helps to break down the food. It has special enzymes in it that break down starchy foods like bread. Next, you swallow. Your tongue helps to push the food to the back of your throat, where it goes down a long tube called the esophagus. A flap at the back of your throat, called the epiglottis, closes over your windpipe when you swallow to make sure your food goes into your stomach and not your lungs. The muscles in the esophagus push the chewed up food along all the way down to your stomach. Food spends around four hours in the stomach where more enzymes break the food down even further. The stomach breaks down proteins in our food and kills bad bacteria so it doesn't make us sick. After the stomach, the partially digested food is released into the small intestine. The small intestine works together with the liver and the pancreas to break the food down even more. Then, nutrients can be absorbed into the blood. Red blood cells take the nutrients to our cells, which turn them into energy our bodies can use to move and function. Any parts of the food that isn't absorbed into our blood passes on to the large intestine. These leftovers are not useful to our body, so we have to get rid of them. The large intestine absorbs any water left in the digested food, then sends it to the rectum, where it leaves the body as waste. If you could stretch out the entire digestive system from start to finish, it would be about 20 to 30 feet long. This system takes nutrients like proteins, sugars, vitamins, and minerals from our food and breaks them down so that our bodies can use them for energy. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.